What is the crack lads and welcome back to another roundup video. This time we're taking a look at V1.1.5 for mobile and obviously a couple of updates and changes that they have done for all platforms as well, such as the PS5 as you're seeing here. So we have launched into our eFootball 22 Dream Team and we have got a couple of items added to the inbox. Now they said that this was going to be for all players. Uh, yesterday I think there was an announcement for it. Check out my video for the first details. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, but we are going to be getting 40,000 GP. We're going to be getting 60,000 trainer program XP. We're going to get another 6,000 trainer XP there. And we're also going to get a five-star nominating contract as well. So this is for an Apology from the admin for suspending the, as far as I know, suspending the uh, campaigns and stuff like that, um, which they have now resumed. So the Roma Legends, the Syria uh, player pack and stuff like that. Um, so we also get a bit of information, but I'll get into that in a second um, as we, we head in here to see. These are all just notifications and we'll just claim all these, obviously, with Triangle um, and get ready to, to head over to the actual official website. But before we do, we are going to take a look at the new legends. So there is a couple of new things here. Obviously, we've got Bayern Munich, uh, three new legends for them, Demichelis, Matthias. And Romanegi. I mean, Romanegi is going to be probably one of the most OP players in the game. If you look at his stats, like absolutely insane. He goes to nine levels, but he's got everything. Unwavering form. I mean, he's got a base stat before you even touch his 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 uh, his card or update his card with anything. I mean, he's got 91 speed, 85 acceleration, 83 finishing. Uh, his balance is only 70, which I think kind of balances him out a little bit, pardon the pun. But it does kind of limit his, how would you say it? It kind of limits his like... OP-ness, I would say, for, for the time being. And we've seen a couple of players like this, um, you know, have had this kind of issue, such as Haaland, you know, Lukaku, even Drogba, where their, their, their balance does impact them when they come up against a good defender or a strong defender. Um, but if you're able to just play ball to feet and stay away from that, he can be an absolute monster for you. Um, and he's also got nine levels, as you see here with his card, he's got nine levels and he will have that B rating as well. So I think he is probably one of the top five players in the game game straight away and I haven't even played with him I just know he's going to be a, a monster um, because you can train up his speed and acceleration to be 91 and 90 and then you're also going to be able to touch up his finishing to maybe a 90 as well and bring up that balance as high as you can as well he just trains up beautifully if you are looking for an all-rounder and you didn't get Romario and you don't want to buy Mbappe somebody like that Romanegi will be absolutely incredible in my opinion but we will do a review on him in a bit um and also then on top of that we've got Matthaus uh he is going to be one of the best box to box midf midfielders in it speed and acceleration not the best but not the worst his speed is only 69 but the rest of his stats are quite decent he's also got unwavering form I would love him man he was one of my favorite players two years ago um and last year so I would love him and then Demichelis we'll do as I said we'll do a, a review on these um Demichelis he does have 13 levels to go um and he's not you know he's not gonna I don't think really change the the, the dynamic of dream team and who players are picking at the back um you know but he definitely wouldn't be the worst player that you could get either so moving on lads we're going to actually head over to the eFootball official website and we've got a couple of new announcements here um first up we have got the new update file v1.1.5 so this is available as you see here for mobile ios and android um it's not available so this it doesn't seem to be that v1.1.5 is coming for console or pc i don't know why but the fixes that you read here below um it just says look general fixes to mitigate or eliminate bugs shown below and then these are the ones the details so playing as the away team inputting the faint command towards the backward direction will not trigger the faint in game plan repeatedly opening and closing the list reserves after scrolling through may cause the application to crash so it seems to be just kind of fixing a couple of bugs and a couple of issues that were in the mobile uh, version of the game. And then it says that they had issues with the friend match option as well, which they added last week with V1.1.4. Uh, so moving on, I don't know why they're not bringing that to, to console. I think they should, um, especially friend match. That needs to come ASAP, in my opinion. Moving on, so there is also a gameplay survey. So when we click into this gameplay survey, it'll ask you, you know, what region you're in, what your country is, your age, whatever. 
whatever. Um, but we're going to go through the rest of the survey here. So we pick, um, you know, our options, whatever we want to do. How many matches did you play with eFootball? 11 or more. Um, choose one of the six rating levels for each que question below. Select one answer for each question. So five being satisfied, strongly agreeing, very good. Um, and dribbling, I would say, is very, very good. Um, I would say that dribbling is my favorite. Um, finding ways to pass, yes, I would strongly agree. How would you rate the responsiveness of dribble commands when playing offline matches against against the AI? Yeah, I mean, online, offline is really, really good. I would even go as far as say it's a five, but offline, I would say it's probably like. I would say maybe, depending on connection, man, it's probably a one, to be honest, to be totally honest. Um, how satisfied are you with being able to pass the ball? Um, I would probably put middle of the road. I was able to pass the ball to the player. How strongly do you agree with this statement? I'd put middle of the road. The ball physics for passes feel natural. Yeah, probably middle of the road as well. Ball speed of passes feel natural and realistic but lads there's a lot here i didn't think there was this many i'll be all day doing this one so there is a lot here so i'm going to go through that and you guys can go through that as well um and we might actually do a video just on the the survey itself um to see kind of what they're asking but we will continue with the news because i don't want to make this video too long um they also talk about players expiry date and eFootball point shop that they're just going to be adding new players that have transferred so maybe they might add Haaland or someone like that to the new clubs um they also talk about no issues with the pet with the eFootball mobile um and that's just kind of like stadium sounds and audio and stuff like that again not a huge deal for most people and then also they talk about the phase two rewards so we were aware that there has been insufficient information regarding the availability period of eFootball league phase rewards as such we use we have published an in-game news on the 7th of the 6th and 21st of the 7th and former users that phase rewards of the previous phase can only be claimed during the current phase so uh it kind of makes sense i suppose obviously if you claim them uh, before the maintenance when the maintenance hit it's not gonna it's not gonna count and then last but not least there was a maintenance extended uh which we can see there so if we go back to the main page here we'll also see that there is a new event so this event is uh english league training up so you can get a maximum of sixty six thousand xp so I think if you do this, lads, right, if you do this and you're playing against the AI, play it on legend difficulty, give yourself a real challenge, um, unless you've got a, a, a new team or a poor squad, um, but play it on legend difficulty and just, you know, see what the gameplay is like. I've been really enjoying playing these challenges. I just wish there was a bit more variety. Um, but yeah, that is it for me. I'll be back with my Bayern Munich review and we'll also go through the survey together maybe as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you guys are looking to train up players, this is the way to go. You'll have 66,000 XP from this. You'll have 66,000 from the free uh, apology one as well. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.